I've always wanted new walkers in The Walking Dead, and I think it's something that is maybe not needed for the Rick movies, but imperative to have something so new and appealing to other audiences that haven't watched The Walking Dead. And that's what Scott Gimple said about the Rick movie trilogy, you don't have to understand The Walking Dead to understand this man that we're going to see in the movie. I say this man because with people unfamiliar with The Walking Dead, it will just be some man. It will be Rick, so whatever he's, he could be sleeping, he's going to be called. But with people unfamiliar with The Walking Dead, what will be that thing that captures them, that pulls them in to watch that first movie? It's going to be seeing this man take on this new type of zombie, with the concept of this big mysterious city still existing in the apocalypse. You might have been upset that at the end of World Beyond in that end credit scene, when it revealed the new walker there, and it didn't directly reference or tease Rick Grimes. But it actually did, as early as season 8 of the main show, he's been teased as the one that's going to take it all on. Whether he stayed in the main show or not, that's always been the plan for him. That's why I even wanted a new walker. Just before season 5 of The Walking Dead would start to air, they came out and said these new radiated walkers would change the story in Fear The Walking Dead. That lasted maybe 10 minutes before Alicia started eating their blood. And even now in season 7, when they're literally surrounded by radiated walkers because they're in a nuclear radiation zone, they kill them like any other walkers. So when they said these new radiation walkers would change the story of The Walking Dead, they didn't really, did they? Unless they were waiting until they could actually make it different. I'm coming! <laughs> There has been some craze recently about this seemingly new walker in Fear the Walking Dead Season 7 Episode 12. I did see this when I first watched it, but I just assumed it's how they directed the episode. They've told the actor he's got to get up and smack the gun out of his hand so that he didn't right there and then get up and shoot all of the zombies, taking all the danger and the stakes away from the scene. Fear especially is no stranger to being so clumsy with their scenes, but what you need to remember is that Fear has started to contribute so much more to the bigger story, the main story in The Walking Dead. Now we've got even more reason to say there'd be new walkers in the shows because they've actually announced and confirmed there is a new variant in the universe. Back in season 1 and briefly at the start of season 2, Frank Darabont was controlling and directing the zombies and he had this different creative idea to where the zombies could do a lot more. They could climb things, pick things up, they could shuffle a bit faster. After he left, they made the zombies a bit less capable. They made them dumber, a, a bit more easy. But it wasn't until they actually announced there's a new variant that we started to see a small change in the walkers in the main show too. Them announcing this new variant actually canonized what the zombies were like in season 1, almost in preparation of the new variant. So this could actually be them sneaking in not only new types of walkers, but the current walkers just being a bit more capable. But by them being a bit more capable and a bit more harder to deal with, I don't mean that the current walkers in the Walking Dead shows are actually getting more clever or evolving. I think it's important to understand the difference between the word evolving and a new variant. A new variant is a new type of zombie. Evolving would suggest the current zombies in The Walking Dead shows are actually getting different. So they're, they're becoming that new variant. I don't really think that's going to happen at all. I'm talking about a small narrative shift where over time they just struggle with the zombies a bit more. And especially regarding this scene, like I said, Fear is just a bit more clumsy. Scott Gimple does oversee everything about it. He knows what he's doing. That's why the show Runners of Fear even executively produced Dead in the Water, which I think I'm going to make a video about soon because I actually really enjoyed it with its flaws. It was enjoyable. It essentially gave the ultimate origin story how the submarine even ended up on that very beach that went on to make Texas this nuclear fallout zone. It might not be any coincidence that this walker, of all walkers you've seen in the Walking Dead universe, so affected by radiation, did something like this. There's actually been really heavy, specific rumours about there 
being a new zombie in the final episode of The Walking Dead's main show. It's being said that a new zombie will open a door, and again, that to me just seems like that new variant has got to the US, rather than all of a sudden them being more like they were in season one, where Morgan's reanimated wife actually did do that. So again, that could be them canonizing what Frank Darabont did again, or at least acknowledging that that actually happened in preparation for all that's next in the Walking Dead universe. That's where I want to talk more about what Norman Reedus has just said about his spin-off. He said in Daryl's spin-off, he'll be going to Europe to reunite and look for his lost friends. The two major characters that are missing right now that he would actually care about to go to Europe in any form is Michonne and Rick. So I think it's more likely Michonne, because after all, Judith is still yet to tell him why she actually left and didn't come back. That's a big thing that the show on screen just hasn't acknowledged. So he goes to Europe to help Michonne, which obviously will lead to helping and finding Rick Grimes. But that must mean, of course, Rick is in Europe then, with the new zombies. So if Rick is in Europe and for six, seven years he's been gone, it would be because of this new Walker variant. He knows that if this gets to the US, it would endanger his family. France, we can assume just by looking at this scene here, is a wreck, a completely different apocalypse to the US's one because of this entirely new beast just walking around almost invincible. So as much as we know Rick would want to return, we see here in that first teaser we got for the first movie, he was likely taken into the city of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. From that to end up in Europe, after finding that new variant and seeing what it had become, France just covered in this completely different monster. He knows that if he tried to return, some of these zombies or some of these infected people would want to go back. Maybe even Rick himself has got this new variant of virus now. If he goes back to the US, he knows it will wipe out the US too, so he stays in France. If Rick can't leave Europe to go to the US, then Daryl will go to Europe to find him instead. A spin-off with Daryl and hopefully Michonne later on, I really hope they long that out of bit until the first Rick Grimes movie at least. In the zombie apocalypse, if you're travelling to Europe from the US, it's not going to be some perfect straight line travel. I mean, the most likely thing is he's going to go by a boat, isn't he? I hope they have some big set piece with Daryl on a big ship or in his little boat and a storm's chucking him about. That would be so cool. That's likely going to happen. It's not going to be seamless. I said recently in a video where I first spoke about Carol not being in the spin-off anymore, that because they've said Europe, it could be in the UK as well. But I also said, I don't see the UK as Europe, not because of the union. There was fucking old people in the comments. No one says when they're going to the UK, they're going to Europe. That would be really weird. I think they would just say the UK because they would, I think there would be a lot more interest in that. With things like 28 Days Later, making zombie history in London. Not to mention, uh, Rick lives here. What would Rick have made of that game then? Unless they're hiding the fact that the reason it's in the UK is because of Andrew Lincoln, making it easier for him to appear, but I'm not sure about that. When they say Europe, would be wise to reference previous things mentioned in Europe, like Toledo, Spain, or France, where we actually know these new variants are. The way I see it is Daryl's gonna find out from Judith why Michonne actually went to go and travel. Daryl finds out, and just in time, Michonne gets in contact with him to then go and find Rick. But what do you think? What countries do you think Daryl's gonna go to? Is Michonne secretly in this spin-off too? And when will we next see these new walkers? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Of course, press the like button if you enjoyed the video. In a few seconds, my other videos will pop up, so make sure you go and check them out. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.